This podcast is part of the Listen Frederick Podcast Network. To learn more, visit listenfrederick.com. Hello and welcome to the Fedora Files. I am Gregory Fedora and I'm so glad you're here. Now, this episode is going to be a little bit different than usual. I'm going to let you know what is going on at the Fedora Files and how you can actually help keep the Fedora Files going. Um, so, first off, one thing I am looking to do is I am trying to laser focus the Fedora Files. I want to start having more guests on from other podcasts that do what I do keep the folklore alive keep the paranormal stories alive the cryptid stories alive all that going the ufology i'm going to have more guests on from other podcasts as well as people who have had experiences or or doing research or whatever including artists and even breweries and distilleries that have kind of a paranormal focus on like what they name their stuff after different stories. And there's quite a few out there and I'd like to have them and talk to them why they're doing that and how that got into their genre and to their mindset when they were making the spirits that they uh, have for sale. Now, the reason is, is that I found that a lot of the folklore and a lot of these ghost stories, a lot of these things are fading away from our zeitgeist and we're not remembering them. And, and I don't want that to happen. Uh, for instance, like I've talked about uh, the Snally Gaster and Dwayo and stuff ad nauseum uh, over the years. And the reason is that I live right by South Mountain, which is kind of the mecca of uh, paranormal stuff in Maryland. Uh, it's it, You have the, the South mountain wizard you have madeline dahlgrum who wrote uh south mountain magic you have uh the snallygaster lives up there the dueo lives around there the snarly yow there's ghost stories involving native americans ghost stories involving civil war there was a major civil war battle there which a lot of people continue to say they see the ghosts of the civil war there's so many folklore stories i live down the road from burkittsville which is where the blair witch movie took place and parts of it were filmed there but mostly uh that's just they used the name Burkittsville for the movie but there is actually folklore and ghost stories and paranormal stories that involve Burkittsville that are being forgotten and overshadowed by the Blair Witch um but I don't want that to happen so I'm gonna focus more on that I'm gonna continue to have guests on that help focus these stories because the stories are great and whether you believe in the paranormal or ufos or even the monsters that's fine the stories are what bring us it's the fabric we we're creative individuals humans are creative and we tell these stories and a long time ago that's how we communicate we sat around a fire and we told stories this fall i'm going to get the chance to kind of relive that as i've been asked to uh, be at a festival and sit around a fire and tell some folklore stories i'm going to focus obviously on the snowy gaster because this event is in middletown maryland and if you're in middletown maryland in november and would like to come to this event let me know it's going to be a fun time and i will be telling some cool stories and i got five to be precise that i will be telling throughout the evening but i want to do that and really focus the floor files and make this a place people can come kind of like an a library of resources of stories of other things and also when you hear about these other podcasts you can go check them out because they're doing some cool research so it's going to be podcasts that i enjoy listening to and getting ideas from and then you know developing my own ideas from their ideas and it, it's just continues the creative process and it helps and i think as each of these grow it's good because it's getting the stories and everything out there and we're a community of resources that people can learn from now another thing that i don't do is i don't have a patreon page and maybe i should some people said i should but i don't so i don't bring money in from the podcast i just do this out of the love but if you would like to help there is a way uh i i've written quite a few books and i'm continuing to do so and then they're all available on amazon uh, the first is uh, a series, it's an anthology. It's called Happy Little Monsters and I have volumes one through four already available on Amazon and you can get them. 
um, and I'm working on volume five, six, and seven right now. Um, and it basically is just stories of different monsters around the world. I, it's a one-man show. I do all the artwork. I do all the research. I do the layout. I do everything with this book. So uh, you go there, and uh, if you purchase it, it, the money will help keep the podcast and the other endeavors I'm doing for you alive, and it helps pay for all that. I also have a book called Sasquatch and Me, which is a what-if story. Is basically what if I went to the Pacific Northwest and found a pride of Bigfoot and I lived amongst them. Again, the artwork in there is all me. The story is all me. And it, it'll make you laugh. It'll make you cry. It'll make you wonder what if. Another series I have, or another book, it's not a series, it's called... Uh, the creatures are stirring a creepy Christmas collection, and it's all the uh, different monsters and goat, and not all the ghost stories, but a couple ghost stories that are all around the Christmas time. And uh, that's a great book for a gift at Christmas or a white elephant gift. You can give it to someone, or even a coffee table book if you want to have it laying around by your Christmas tree. And <clears throat> basically, uh, if you would like these signed. You can message me. Let me know and we can work something out. You can Venmo me and I will get you the book signed. Uh, all the books are under $20. There, there's a paperback version. If you want a hardcover version, it's a little bit more. I think it, those are in the $20 range, but hardcover. And I can get that signed you as well if you want. Um, and I'd love to do that for you. Um, so those are ways that you can help support the Fedora Files is by buying these books and telling people or even getting other people to buy a book. If you know people who love books about this, like monsters, there you go. Another, if you like paranormal, uh, my good friend Chip Stetson has written a book called Transcendental Tourist and it's volume one. He's working on volumes two and three simultaneously right now. And hopefully they'll be out soon and those are ghost stories those are uh it's a lot of his stories of his research where he went and visited these places what he found but also the ghost stories behind them the true stories that uh, may or may not have been passed down because a lot of these ghost shows if you've listened to chip come on he's gone to a lot of the same places the ghost shows have gone to and he's debunked what they've said they have made up things to make it scarier and but then when you find out the real ghost story it's like that's plenty scary you didn't have, need to add all that so he's trying to keep those stories alive and keep those true to what they were um and so you know if you want to check out transcendo tourist that would be great uh again it helps him with his research and his adventures as well as it helps the show because he's a part of the fedora files family um now you may be going, oh, well, why do I just want to keep the floor files alive? Maybe you don't, but there's other things I do that are kind of fun and free that you can check out. If for, for instance, if you go on in the Instagrams, you can follow me. Uh, my Instagram account is G underscore Fedora, F-E-D-O-R-A underscore crypto, C-R-Y-P-T-O. Follow me there, and there's a lot of posts I do throughout the week, uh, different stories, different things, different genres uh, that are fun. Like I give you like little facts, I give you ghost stories, I give you monster stories, I give you all kinds of different things besides a podcast. Now, you can also follow me on a YouTube, which if you're a visual person, maybe uh, you like the podcast, but you like, you'd like to see stuff. Well, that's where you go. And again, that's at youtube.com backslash at the Fedora Files. If you go there, you can watch all the podcasts there. But I also do a lot of shorts, which again are free out there. And the, the shorts are like I do different monsters. I have videos of the different monsters telling their story. And it's got what they look like and all kinds of things. Another thing I do every now and then is called Frightening Friday, where I have a ghost story or a paranormal thing. Uh, that is out there that is interesting and I give you the information and it's they're all about a one one minute little short because YouTube shorts are short uh, you also find those on the Instagram but I'd love you to follow me on YouTube as well uh, that helps because YouTube does actually pay you if you get enough followers and subscribers now the reason I'm, I'm doing this show is that I don't really push my wares and my all the things I'm doing enough 
is what I've been told by my friends and some of my followers are like, oh my gosh, like when they find out about the stuff, like when they find out about the website, which is fedorascrt.com. Um, so that's fedorascrt.com. If you go there, you can get all the links to all the different things. And there's cool stuff on that as well um, that you can check out. But they, they're like, you, you don't push your stuff enough. And I know I listen to other podcasts and they spend the first five minutes of the show pushing all their stuff and maybe I need to start doing that I don't know I just I just don't for some reason and but I wanted to take this opportunity to let you know all the stuff that's out there that I'm putting out there and asking you to check it out that's all you gotta do check it out subscribe to these things look at them share them maybe you have a friend that's into this stuff even more than you let them know about it now and then now I want another aspect of your help if you know someone that has a story or has a website or has a book or does art pertaining to this and you think they i should have them on let me know i would love to have them on i'd want to hear from you guys and hear from other people who have stories or experiences that they'd like to share and i'd love to talk to them and i sit there and just hear them out let them tell their story let them share their podcast let them share their art let them share their book let them share their creativity and that's really what i want to focus on with the fedora house getting laser focused on the unexplained and the fun and the exciting and really delve into that more so that is what this episode's about. I just wanted you to know what's going on, what I'm doing, and where I want to go with this. Because, you know, in the past I was more eclectic and I had a lot of different guests on of doing different things. And although I still love doing that, I may still have some that have nothing to do with that, but I find interesting. I think you would find interesting. I may probably will still do that, but I want to focus more on getting more of these paranormal and cryptid and folklore and ufology people on because there's really cool stuff i know there's other podcasts out there but i think i do it a little bit different and more i, I think i have more humor and i shoot more from the hip and i'm just more fly by night kind of fun so <clears throat> i just want to thank you for those of you who subscribe and listen thank you and tell others please tell others about me tell others about what's going on and if you can buy a book <clears throat> Please buy a book for yourself, for a friend. And again, if you want it signed, let me know. I have copies of the book signed. I can get it to you and uh, we'll, we'll get it to where you want it to go. And uh, as you go about your day, just remember to, as always, stay safe. Thank you for searching, my friends. Check out FedoraCRT.com today.